Welcome to your Tutor Online video lessons. This is part two of scientific notation back to standard form. Uh, in part one, we learned a little bit about scientific notation itself and also how to go from standard form to scientific notation. Uh, you can find that link in the more info box uh, uh, on the web page. Uh, today in part two, we'll learn how to go back again from scientific notation to standard form. Let's start with a large number in scientific notation, like 4.603 times 10 to the seventh. Uh, I like to rewrite the number uh, just to give us a little bit extra room to work with. So you just do it right underneath, 4.603. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is put our pencil at the decimal place because we're going to move it. Uh, probably the trickiest part of going from scientific notation to standard form is remembering just which direction to go with the decimal. Just remember, if you have a positive exponent, then you're going for a really big number. And if uh, you have a negative exponent, you're going for a really small number. So when you're moving your decimal, if your number doesn't uh, look big when it's supposed to, then try going in the other direction. Uh, another way you could go is to remember, uh, go in the same direction you would for a number line. Uh, if your exponent's positive, you go right for the number line. And if your exponent's negative, you go left if it were a number line. So with our um, exponent being a positive 7, uh, we know to move our decimal 7 spaces to the right. And the way I do it is to uh, make little pockets as I go along. I'm going to catch each of these numbers. That's 1, 2, 3... When I run out of numbers, I'm going to keep going, but I'm also going to keep making pockets. 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the decimal goes right there. Now, all these empty pockets I left, I'm going to fill in with the zeros. 0, 0, 0, 0. And then I'm just going to uh, write it down here uh, to clean it up a little bit. The 4, 6, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0. And you can add your little commas just to um, make it look good. Right there and right there. Uh, so 4.603 times 10 to the 7th is 46,030,000. So let's look at an example with a very small number, 1.02 times 10 to the negative fifth. Same rules here, just a different direction. Um, I'm going to rewrite the number just underneath of it, 1.02. I'm going to leave a little bit of space to the left because that's the direction I'm going. It's a negative exponent, so we move to the left, the same direction you would go on the number line. Uh, I'm going to uh, start at the decimal place. I'm going to move and make pockets as I move uh, the same number of times as that exponent. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the decimal place goes there. I'm going to go back and fill in those pockets with zeros. The first one's already filled in. 0, 0, 0, 0. And uh, I'm going to go on down and just clean up uh, that number just a little bit. Decimal, four zeros, one, zero, two. Uh, and when you work with these really st small numbers with a decimal at the very beginning, it's a good idea to add a zero to the front just to make it uh, very clear that you uh, have a decimal there. So 1.02 times 10 to the negative fifth is 102 10 millionths. Well, thanks for joining me for this lesson. As always, I hope it was helpful for you. Uh, you can always help me help you by leaving comments and asking questions. Also, go to the website at yourtutoronline.com and visit the contact page. Leave me a little note to let me know what you're studying or what you will be studying in class so I can make more videos that will be more helpful to you. Uh, if these videos are helpful, uh, you can help me out uh, by sharing them with your classmates. I'll see you next time. Happy studying.